ready. And racing. Good even break two. On the near side, Just James was among the early leaders. And out of the center, Royal Quarters, Millennium Dragon in the white jacket going very fast. And right up there is Hidden Dragon as well in the table colors. But on the uh, near side, Redback now heads them off. Leads by a length and a half to Millennium Dragon. And just behind them, the Royal Colt approval settling on the inside of Royal uh, Quarters in the yellow uh, jacket there. A little bit uh, wider out then is Hidden Dragon, followed by Say Harley, the other yellow jacket on the far side. Mesha here in the blue jacket in the centre. They're followed by Twilight Blues and Steenberg and Cataholic on the near side. Compton Dragon is next from Ho Choi and Just James. A couple of lengths to online investor and irony held up at the back. Redback though blazes the trail at halfway. By a half length Millennium Dragon is keeping the pressure on. A length away then is Royal Quarters being ridden along. Approval tucked in behind them. Will need a run soon. Followed a little bit wider out by Hidden Dragon and Say Harley. Further back in the field Twilight Blues Mesher here and Just James to the far side with Ho Choi. A furlong and a half left to go in the jersey. And on the near side, Millennium Dragon strikes the lead from Red Back. But here are the challenges. Steenberg and Mesher here out in the centre from Sehali and Just James. Millennium Dragon grabbed by Steenberg and Mesher here and Just James joining in as well. A three-way go to the line. Steenberg grabbed by Just James. Steenberg, Just James, they hit the line. Just James has beaten Steenberg. In third then Mesher here from Ho Choi. Millennium Dragon behind them and further back in the field, Hidden Dragon, followed then by Red Back Approval, has finished in the middle of the pack and a long last is Cataholic. Just officially it's a photo, but just James in the on the far side, I think, has just got the bob in here from Steenberg and won it by a head. In third measure here, and then in fourth is Ho Choi. In fifth is hidden is a Millennium Dragon who couldn't go on from Hidden Dragon. The far side say Harley who was up there with a shout. Approval just couldn't go on. On the near side, red back. A gap to Royal Quarters in the yellow jacket. Further back then is Twilight Blues, who didn't find a great deal at all. It's official now. Just James, number 10, is the winner. Online investor behind them. The grey is irony. And a gap then to Compton Dragon. The third of the dragons finishing well back. There's the winner, number 10, Just James, owned by Lucarne Stud, trained by Jeremy Nasida and ridden by Olivier Pallier, over from France, and lands uh, a winner in our opener on the second day. Second, number 15, Steenberg, uh, owned by Kenneth McPherson, trained by Mark Tompkins, ridden by Ted, Ted Durkin, has run a real cracker. And third, number one, Mesher here, carrying the Royal Blue Colours of Godolphin, trained by Syed Bin Saru and ridden by Frankie de Tori. Fourth is number eight, Ho Choi, owned by Alan Guthrie, trained by Linda Perrett and ridden by John Carroll. The winner, though, on screen in those famous black and white colours of the Lacan stud, and that's number 10, Just James, and he scored officially by a neck with half a length between second and third. Well, Millennium Dragon up front here and Red Back set the pace and behind them, a few of them were a bit keen, actually. Royal Court has pulled his chances away. But coming from the back, what a wonderful finish here from Just James. He'd really shown his finishing kick when he'd won a handicap two runs ago at the end of May at Newmarket. And then actually he ran in another handicap only last Saturday, finished fourth up at York. But this is a big step up in class. Steenberg's run a great race in second. Frankie's finished third on Mesha here. But coming last on the scene, Olivier Pellier, and he gets it, gets the money on Just James. Well, at Newmarket, when he won there, he came from last to first, and he's virtually done exactly the same here today. His only thing that went wrong with the punters was he ran at York last week, but it hasn't harmed him coming here. And Oliver Pelle just getting off there, gave this horse a, a very good ride coming from the last to first in this race where it's over seven furlongs and obviously up this hill at uh, Ascot, he's very stiff, so getting that run uh, to the perfection is you know, not always easy. And there's the, the winning trainer, Jeremy Sida. And that's his first Royal Ascot winner. Well, Olivier Pellier, fresh from uh, a double at Maison Lafitte yesterday. He's bang in form, as he showed there. And there he is, the flying Frenchman. Time there, 129.19. 